descended into the Bottom Dwellers Dive Shack, a commercial diving podcast by working divers for divers. This is LB Diver with the Bottom Dwellers Dive Shack, and we reviewed the Joint Zone Lift Bag. So this lift bag is a special lift bag. It's able You're able to use it as an open bottom or an enclosed a pillow type lift bag. So we were super stoked and super excited to take a look at it and to use it hands-on. Before we show you what we did on the job site, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, outer workings of the lift bag and just kind of see how it's constructed and uh, introduce you guys to it. Take a look. So we were able to review the joint zone lift bag. I started off in the pool so that way you guys can see the uh, the whole scheme of things. Sometimes when we get in the commercial environment, the visibility is not that great. So I wanted y'all to see the amazing construction of this lift bag. So what we're going to look at first here is the picking points. See there's a shackle attached there. And all of that is sewn right in the lift bag. I mean, the construction of it's amazing. There's maximum redundancy. You have the radio frequency welds around the picking points. So these joint zone lift bags, amazing construction. I'm pointing at the radio frequency welded seams here. The seams are, like I said, there's no defects in those seams whatsoever. Super impressed by the seams on that lift bag. So that's the main seam down the middle of the lift bag that I'm pointing at. Really well constructed. This is a joint zone. Uh, you can use an open bottom and or a pillow lift bag. We're looking at the picking points. The all picking points look like this. They have maximum redundancy. The uh, picking points are, uh, are sewn into the material. Multiple layers at these picking points. They're sewn and radio frequency welded, which is awesome. Super, you know, secure. We were able to uh, to grab these things, move them around, and, and uh, didn't feel any any kind of give to them whatsoever. Really well constructed on both sides of the lift bag. There was a lot of thought put in this lift bag. And to see these seams, it's like, you know, you definitely have a lot of confidence in them. Now we're back to the front. Not only are they well constructed, but they're beautiful lift bags. That's the max PSI that these are uh, supposed to be used at. These are the picking eyes on the bottom. So you have four picking points on the bottom to distribute the weight. Same construction as the other picking points. And then if you, that's a cap there. If you remove that cap, you can use this bag as an open, as an open bottom bag, as a parachute lift bag. And then you can seal it and use it as a pillow, which is awesome. I did attach a cinder block to it to kind of keep the bag down a little bit while we uh, showed you the construction of this lift bag. Very high quality stuff there.
That's one of the fill ports and the two dump valves at the very top. So if you overpressure the bag, they'll dump at those two black round dump valves. All right, so let's give you a closer look at the valves and the uh, fill points. That's one of the dump valves. So once it gets to a certain pressure, it will automatically dump from those valves. Again, those are well-constructed valves. And that's the main dump valve right there. Real easy to use lever, really well-constructed. So it's got that lock there that I'm pointing at. That lock might get in the way, so just be mindful of it, but it's really easy and free to be able to open and close with one hand to dump air as necessary. Then you go down below, that's the fill port. Closer look at the fill port. Again, that fill port's going nowhere. Really easy to use, and I'm playing around with that darn fill port a little bit too much. That's a quick connect, so you can easily connect and uh, disconnect on that guy. So that is a joint zone lift bag, and we're gonna give you guys a little glimpse of it pretty soon, of the joint zone lift bag in the real world. All right, so I was able to put air in the lift bag and we were attaching it to a pipe that we were lifting off of the bottom. We had to remove the pipe because it was in our work area. So we were able to use a joint zone lift bag to move a pipe that we can get our work done. So filled the bag up. Didn't have to be super controlled. So we just went ahead and kind of filled it up, you know, as much as we needed to until it lifted the pipe. So once it lifted the pipe and it went to surface, I came back. It was somewhat neutrally buoyant almost. So I came back and then uh, I put the cap on the bottom of the uh, bag. So I'm gonna inflate it just a little bit more to get it up higher. And that's where this cap really comes into play. With open bottom lift bags, if you overfill them, they'll breach the surface and then they'll turn to the side and then they'll fill with water and then dump the load back down. So 
if you have the ability to enclose it, you're able to put the bottom on and then if it does breach surface, it's not going to dump all the air out. So that's what I really like about this, uh, this lift bag here. I was able to go back, you see the pipe there that's suspended in the water. And I'm able to go back and screw that cap on just as an extra level of security. So all in all, it was very easy to use. It was very easy to screw that cap on. And uh, I felt very comfortable and very secure, and very safe that uh, that bag wasn't going to go anywhere, that my load wasn't going to go anywhere. And we were able to get the crane on her and pick her, pick that pipe right on up out. So it was uh, definitely a blast. Easy to use lift bag, beautiful lift bag and uh, super durable, heavy duty. And uh, again, like I said, really easy to use and, uh, and uh, great to use underwater. So that's the joint zone lift bag. I mean, we had an amazing time with it. We had a blast. It performed well, especially under pressure. I was going up and down along muscles. The puncture resistance that they talk about, it's totally true. It's amazing. You know, we were coming up alongside growth and uh, not a scratch on it. Really well constructed lift bags, really easy to use. I was super, I wouldn't say super surprised because I know that rental tools, you know, they put out some good stuff. The joint zone line of tools and equipment, it's amazing. It's really good stuff. They put a lot of thought into it and we we, we just had a blast. I mean, it was fun and uh, these tools performed really well. So again, take a look at the video. We highly recommend the joint zone lift bags. And if you have any questions, go ahead and reach out to a hunter at rentaltoolsonline.com. Uh, reach out to us, and then we'll uh, give you the appropriate information on these joint zone lift bags. But other than that, we had a great time. These bags performed amazingly. We love them, and we're going to be using them again soon. So stay tuned to the next episode of the Bottom Dollars Dive Shack, and keep looking out for our reviews online. And we'll see you on the next one.